My name is Senior Airman Kaylin Freeman. I work with the 359th Aerospace Medicine Squadron with Aerospace and Operational Physiology. Our main mission here is to train all the pilots and enlisted air crew uh, that come through the Air Force. We have five major pipelines that we teach. They go through the altitude chamber, they get taught classes such as night vision, O2 equipment, crash survival, uh, they get spun around in the bare knee chair, um, and then they go through the actual chamber portion where they get to experience their hypoxia symptoms, uh, recognize them in themselves, recognize them in their classmates, and see how it's going to have an effect on them. We do the RPA, um, so the remotely piloted aircraft pilots, and the enlisted side, so the sensor operators. Uh, we teach them classes like fatigue. Um, so how to do this. A good Valsalva, you need to bring your hand to your face, not your face down to your hand. So make sure you keep your hips straight up, making sure you stretch out those eustachian tubes, and it should be a quick and short Valsalva. Seat number two, uh, your mask is a little different, so you need to push that up, not a quarter valve, you'll feel it clicking into place. You'll let that all right, so you can go ahead and buckle up your seatbelt for me. Um, we're going to get you a little bit spatially disoriented. Um, these behind you right here are some of the different spatial disorientations that we can show on our students, um, get you a little bit spatial, spatially disoriented and show you what it's like. So I'm going to um, pick one of these. I'm going to get you spatially disoriented. and I'm gonna